everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well and I hope you're staying safe. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the books that I have finished and the books that I'm currently reading. So I'm going to talk about the books that I'm still in the middle of and then we'll go on to uh, the three books that I have finished. So the first one that, um, oh, that, I already, that, that one. Where's that other book? I, oh, I had it in my hand and I put it down and I forgot where it went. Uh, the first book that I'm currently reading, and this is a library book, and uh, I think I'm going to get my own copy. So this is A Woman of No Importance, the untold story of the American spy who helped win World War II. And this is by Sonia Perel. So any books that are based on uh, like history, like history books um, or biography, stuff like that, I like to have my own copy. And I say like mark them up, but like I mean like I like to, um, you know, kind of underlying parts that I like, um, if there's like certain sayings or there's a really important part that I want to like research more on, um, and that's what I like to do. So I don't like to damage obviously library books, so, um, I'm going to read as much as I can today because tomorrow I'm going to the library to return these books and, um, I will go from there. So, yeah, and also I'll have like a bunch of more library books. They're all, I have a bunch of, um, on hold at the library, so I want to grab them because I'm having surgery on June the 18th so I want to have like a variety of stuff to read while I'm in recovery but yeah um I really am enjoying this and I definitely think it's important to read I'm not far into it unfortunately which is why I want to take time out today to sit and kind of read as much as I can uh but it is kind of dense um and yeah but it's interesting though it's really interesting I'm I'm really drawn to uh, her story and uh yeah i really want to learn more and uh yeah if you've read this then please let me know what you think and uh yeah so we have that one that i'm currently in the middle of another one that i'm currently in the middle of is rebecca raised in the little boy shop on the scene you've probably seen this on my channel quite a few times i've been reading this this has been on my tv for a while um i'm almost finished it i think i'll be able to finish it tonight if I really push through it if I want to. Um, I'm paying like 217 so I'm not that far along or I'm not, <laughs> I don't have that much further uh, at all. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying it. It's uh, a bookshop in Paris, you know, that's perfect for me. And uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. And I know she has a lot of other books out that I want to uh, get my hands on and read, and definitely will be doing that soon. So, yeah, I'm enjoying this. And let me know if you've read this and what you think of it. And, uh, yeah, so there's another one. This one I kind of started yesterday, just flipping through. And, um, I mentioned that I wanted to really read, like, uh, like, the book. So I've been kind of doing that. Um, it's okay so far. Uh, I like I said, I'm not that far into it. Kind of just been flipping through. There's a lot of recipe um, parts that you can like fill out. Oh, I didn't really say what it was. This is Kate Hudson's Pretty Happy. I got this from the dollar store for like four bucks. You can see there. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm making my way through this. And, uh, yeah, there's like exercises you can try. How to, you know, just try to try to make yourself happy so uh yeah giving that a read so now for the books that i have actually finished so i have one disappointing book uh well and at the uh enf that's what it's called and uh the other two i loved so let's start with the disappointing book because i'm so heartbroken because i love her writing so much but i just could not connect with the characters, and that is Need It Short, uh, The Little Paris Book Shop. Oh, I wanted to love this so much. So this is about a man who has a uh, bookstore. So it's a, it's a, the man is a literary uh, apothecary. He has a folding bookstore in a bar on the scene. But he basically prescribed novels to the hardship of life. So if you say to him, hey, I have this issue, he'll recommend you a book kind of thing, or he'll kind of just give you a book by the way he sees you, and all that, and, um, I don't know, it, the writing is absolutely beautiful. I gave this two star mainly for the writing, 
but I could not finish it because I did not care what happened to the character. Like I did I'm sorry, it was kind of boring for me, but um, yeah, I'm sure there are others that loved it, but yeah, I'm actually going to be putting in either the show or um, put this in a little free library. So this one of the two books that I absolutely love, we have Atomic Love by Jenny Fields. I have no way to describe this book. There's so many things about it that I love. There's uh, romance, uh, there's mystery. There's, um, family, uh, oh, there's so much, but I do think there's some things missing. I gave this five stars, but I feel like there was something that like, I kind of wish there was more of. Like, I wanted, I kind of wanted more of the history behind why everything happened. So, basically, it's about, um... Chicago 1950, Rosalind Porter had always defined expectations in her work as a uh, visits, I think it's visits, um, in the, on the Manhattan Project. She had a passionate love affair with colleague of Thomas Weaver. Basically, Thomas Weaver is not a very good person. Um, he turns out to be good at the end, but, you know, kind of spelling that, but even still, there's a lot of missing. I kind of feel like there could have been more said, more of like why he did it, and yeah, I've, I'm kind of giving you spoilers here, but I just wish there was more to it, but I give it five stars because like, I just fell in love with uh, Rosalind, and um, I wanted to know more, so uh, yeah, I do recommend this, but uh, there was some, some things I think were missing, but let me know, let me know down in the comments what you thought. The last and final book, or last but not least, I guess I should say, uh, this is Sarah Morgan, One Summer in Paris. So, this is basically me in a book. We have Paris, we have Summer, we have a bookstore, and we have two beautiful girls, not girls, women, who have had hardships in their lives, and uh, they decide to go to Paris for the summer. And, um, I just love the story of friendship, love, or like romance, uh, seeing the Eiffel Tower every freaking day, working at a bookstore, oh, it was spectacular, and, um, I love this book so much. Sarah Morgan is probably one of my top ten art favorite authors, and, um, yeah, I, I have so many of other books to read, but I definitely recommend this one too. But yeah. So those are the books that I am currently in the middle of, or I have, I'm making sure I didn't spray up one. Uh, those are the books that I'm currently in the middle of, or have finished, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more. I hope to see you in my next video, and if you want to follow me on any of my social media links, they're always listed down in the description, along with Ryan and Theo's, and we would love to have you. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys, love you. Mwah.